What's up everybody, Typical Gamer here with your daily GTA 5 news, tips, tricks, easter eggs, guides, and more, and today I have a bunch of new info on GTA Online, which is going to be released on October 1st, and more details on the exact time later in this video. I'm also going to be talking about the character creation, and also a bunch of social club features such as crew colors and emblems and stuff like that. As always, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to press that like button, and to subscribe for more daily, top-notch GTA 5 videos. So as you may or may not know, access to GTA Online is free with your copy of GTA 5, and there's going to be a small downloadable title update for GTA 5 on October 1st that should become available at 7 a.m. Eastern, 4 a.m. Pacific, and 12 p.m. UK. So once you download this update, you will have access to GTA Online, where you can create and select your GTA Online character as the fourth character on the character selection wheel. So GTA Online's narrative takes place a few months prior to what happened in the single player storyline events which means you might see some familiar faces from a single player game that you might not have seen later in the storyline if you know what i'm saying so to clarify about the gta online houses they said this if someone invites you into their property then it is considered a friendly visit and you will not be able to shoot up their place or steal their cars from their garage by the way in any given lobby if you and another player own the same piece of property you will each be able to enter your own personal instance of that property at any given time you will also be able to enter each other's instance of that property if you exchange and accept an invite this way multiple instances of ownership of the same property within the lobby can exist so that's almost exactly i think that is exactly what i said in my previous q a sunday where i answered that question so everyone can own the same house you have to invite that person and then it will create an instance a unique one where you can invite them into your property and that also means that people can't blow up your cars in your garage so you don't have to worry about that they have talked about the gta online dollars which I'm not sure what they're going to call it. They're microtransactions where you could pay real money for money in GTA Online. And they say that it will not have a great effect on multiplayer. So they say that all players will still have to rank up with reputation points, known as RP, in order to gain access to purchase high-end items. No one can begin GTA Online and simply spend a lot of money out of the gate to get a leg up. You will have to earn your stripes and play to unlock access to the aspirational clothes, guns, and other items. Please also remember that in GTA Online, hustling to afford the finer things by earning GTA dollars, doing robberies, stick-ups, winning races, and other profitable activities is a fun gameplay experience rather than ever being a grind. So in GTA 4, if you ever tried to get that rank 10 achievement, it was a huge grind. I remember a few months after the game came out, I had it on PS3 and I grinded to that rank 10 by playing Hangman's New so much. It got so boring, it was just a mindless activity, and hopefully they did really correct it with GTA Online, and I do look forward to playing that. They also spoke a bit about the character creation news, so this is what they had to say. The hereditary based character creation system of GTA Online allows for a multitude of options to create your avatar that will inhabit the online world of Los Santos in Blaine County. Choose your gender then decide on your mother and father. From there you can choose to give one parent genetic dominance or leave them to be more evenly matched. The choice is yours. Next you adjust the lifestyle variables which help to determine your character's appearance and starting stats. Decide how much sleep he or she gets, how much partying they indulge how much honest work versus illegal activity, and more. Essentially, you can adjust the genetics to wind up with a fresh-faced lad or lass or a grizzled haggard degenerate or anywhere in between. You'll also be able to preview your end result in real time all throughout to ensure you're satisfied before putting your character on a direct flight to Los Santos. Of course, once you're out and about in the world, you can further customize your character with haircuts, clothing, and accessories to suit your taste. So I know that some people that have actually had the opportunity to play GTA Online early have said that this feature is really cool and I can't wait to see how it'll play out. They also mentioned a bunch of GTA Online Social Club features including new crew customization possibilities like crew colors and emblems like vehicle decals that you can put like on the hood of your car. You'll see that they put on the Bugatti or Adder in game right on the hood. That's pretty awesome and on the clothing as well. There's going to be crew messaging options and open or closed crew sessions. Also if you're a Social Club member on the Rockstar website you will unlock the Sawed Off Shotgun, the Elegy RH8 and also John Marston as a parent option which is pretty awesome. I'm sure we're going to see a lot of people with him as their parents. Also, there's going to be reserved in-game license plate awards for the top players and more stuff like that. So again, if you haven't joined Rockstar Social Club, there's so many features. It's free. I'm not sure why you wouldn't. So be sure to go check that out. So that's all the news I got for you today on GTA Online. It does come out October 1st, which is coming really soon. And be sure to get ready to play that at 7 a.m. in the morning Eastern Time, 4 a.m. Pacific and 12 p.m. UK. As always, if you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to press that like button and also subscribe for more GTA 5 videos and other gaming videos when new games come out.
Thanks for watching. I hope you have an awesome day and peace out.